Hi, uh, I'm Nathan Chappell, and uh, I'm going to explain a little bit about what I do. When I started being a professional musician and getting a lot of gigs, um, I was looking for a way to, to make it easier on me to, uh, to get in and out of a gig. One of the main tools that I use as a drummer is a bass drum, a snare drum, and a hi-hat, and that holds down the groove. And so I'm going to set that up, and, I, and I'll play a little groove for you, and uh, I'll show you how long it takes to set that up. Packing around a full drum kit is a bit exhausting sometimes, especially when you have two gigs a day. A full drum kit consists of a bass drum, a snare drum, uh, usually two, two toms and a floor tom, and a number of cymbals and hardware and pedals and stools and thrones and hi-hats. And uh, there's a lot to it. With a drum set, you play with all four limbs. You're playing with both feet and your hands. And um, looking around, I found, uh, I found a cajon, which is a box. Basically, it's a, it's, it has its roots, I believe, primarily in Peru, but there are, uh, it's like Afro-Cuban um, music styles use it a lot. Um, but from what I understand, it's mostly from Peru, and, it's, and, it, and cajon means box or crate. And it's built uh, just like, with a small front. It's just a thin veneer, usually plywood. And you hit the face of that. You sit on the box and you hit the face. So now you have a bass tone and a snare tone. Well, this is almost perfect for what I do. So um, for these small gigs that, uh, that I play, like in restaurants or in small bars with a duo where I don't have a bass guitarist, it's simple for me to bring a cajon in and, and play with a, with a, a singer-songwriter and, uh, and hold it down that way. Um, if I brought a drum kit in and it was just me and a guitarist a singing, a singer-songwriter, um, I'm afraid it, it would just be too much and uh, dynamically it wouldn't work out. So I found this cajon and I've been using it. I've been schlepping it around town and peddling myself as a, as a cajon player um, for the past year and a half and so I had to learn how to, well I just had to transition. I didn't have to really learn anything because it's all rhythm based. So any rhythm uh, should be able to be played on any surface I think. So just translating the bass notes where they need to be um, played to my hands instead of my feet, that was a small transition. Other than that, um, Learning, just hitting the cajon itself, learning where to where to touch it, where to hit it, how hard to hit it, how to uh, how hard to keep your fingers or soft to keep your fingers, um, your wrists and everything. All that comes from just just sitting on the box and playing it, um, and listening to it and getting a feel for it. It's a really it's an intimate instrument because you're you're actually sitting on it and your hands are, are you're constantly in contact with it, and so in order to get the note out of it. You, you learn where to hit it and where to touch it. And uh, I'll, I'll explain it and I'll show a little bit of that. So you can see the playing a cajon is a, a lot easier than setting up a drum kit and uh, I really like it. It's been a good tool for me to use. I encourage anybody that, uh, that, that's into music and, and wants to play a drum to play a drum, any drum, even if it's just a box.